good friend of mine uh, with whom I was speaking about bloggers just a couple of days ago told me that he feels personally that the only people or the only party screwed in this whole blogger crusade in China are actually brands. So the platform is making money. The blogger himself is making money. The uh, MCN, the blogger management company is making money, but the brand is essentially never having a positive ROI because through all these live streams, et cetera, et cetera, you are essentially investing a lot of money um, and even if you sell something, it's never covering your cost. So his, uh, his um, I think, line of thought was very interesting. He was saying that in order for brand to actually make their money back and have positive ROI, you need to have continuous engagement, meaning this one customer needs to repurchase again and again and again. And that is why private pools are so popular and so powerful right now in China, because this cost to reach a customer is extremely high, be it advertising or blogger. Um, what do you think on that? Like you're saying, I mean, we are spammed with too many messages because going back to what I said before, they are spending a lot of money to spam people. And we all know that ads that are not really tailored towards me annoys me. So, of course, uh, that noise level, you don't want to be part of that noise level. So that's why, you know, we are moving towards smaller and smaller groups of people or communication channels that are or have the ability to communicate in a communicate in a way that resonates with you as a consumer. So, mm. so I think uh, th definitely, and that's why we're seeing a trend of, you know, close traffic. We're seeing a trend where KOCs and micro KOLs play a more vital role because th the big word here is trust. You know, we are, we don't trust uh, ads in, is, in its classical format. We don't trust maybe old school celebrities, you know, Nicole Kidman or George Clooney when they're talking about coffee or an Omega watch. We, we, we don't believe that anymore. For us, it's just, you know, how much did the brand pay that celebrity to do that? You know, so I think it will be more, uh, more fragmented now. And I think it's going to be more complex than ever because instead of just relying on one big tool to sort of make it happen for you, you unfortunately have to use a big mix of communication tools to make your brand fly now. Mm -hmm. A lot of brands right now are building or running uh, micro KOL campaigns specifically to build their private pools specifically to create a personalized group of people that they can reach without paying a platform or without paying a blogger or without paying for advertising, right? What do you think yeah. about private pools? I think it's a, it's a great way to, to uh, really leverage uh, your own you know, brand and have an intimate dialogue directly with your end consumers. So I am all for... Uh, that type of approach uh, and we enhance it and we many times also has it uh, we have it as a part of our marketing strategy and same as we you know we grow follower bases or fan bases for for specific social media accounts we also see you know building up these private pools uh, of people genuinely you know liking the brand and generally want to engage in with the brand even after they stop working with us that's the long-term value that we are able to give to the brand so i'm all for it it's definitely a way to go uh, because that's like i said before that's an essential part for you as a brand to, to get intimate with your consumers really getting to know who they are and what they like <laughs>